I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. You know, if it ain't that piece of paper, some other choice we're gonna try and make for you. The older you do get, the more rules we're gonna try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Good day, everybody. Well, this pump's leaking out the top washer again, and it's because this here, which is called the, um, the one-way stop, that allows the water to come up and go through the trigger switch when it gets to a certain pressure in the tank. But the um, the not the one-way stop is allowing water to go back through, and it's um, escaping to the part of leaf resistance, which just happens to be the washer, and it's blown it out. So. Got to change the top washer, which we've done before several times. But we're going to take this apart first and check that out. Okay. So bear with me. about you but that looks full of shit absolutely full of rubbish can give that a clean back soon alright we're back so now we've got to take this heel off the top cap the sleeve We've got to make this sure that this comes up, lock in the bottom beam, and then undo this entire top assembly and go and replace the top washer. Something that I have shown how to do a couple of times in the past. Just merely look up how to replace a top washer on a bore pump on my channel. It's there. I'm not going to bother recording it today. You can just watch and have fun. So you see what's happening in here that I have my tools already hanging up on the screws to, to do what I need to do. So, first Okay, so we have the new washer that I've just put in on there, and the new um, stop valve or one-way valve. Okay, so we'll get this bit here back together first because it's not the easiest.
put your plumber's tape on, always put it on in the way that you would turn it. So if you put it on anti clockwise, when the bolt goes on, it's not going to unthread the thread on there. bung off at the bottom there just to let the water out for a second to get the air through. up a bit.
see there's no leaks now coming out the top of the, the washer. I've replaced the washer. Uh, that coming up, I've fixed the leak that was here and I've replaced the stop valve. So anything that goes that way doesn't go back. Because what was happening is this was staying open. All of the pressure from this pressure tank was going back through and then blew out the washer. Pretty simple way. Eh? No scientific explanation needed. Simple fucking logic. I'll worry about stopping record when I can see that the pump's finished. Ship. No run on. If there was any sort of air leak, this would actually back feed back down again. Go. Just go and see if the water works. Get all the rust out. I have to do this to all of the pipes to get the rust water out of the line. Alrighty. Rocking. started back up again because the pressure in the lines now dropped sufficiently for the pressure switch to kick in notice the drop in the pressure of the water or the, the pressure in the line the PSI drop and she'll start up again that's brilliant mechanic or a water mechanic to come and do something to do with this um, in the past I've cost charged us $250 just to do the top washer to replace the stop valve as well which cost me uh, $60 to buy I'm sure they would have slept an extra 40 bucks in labor so easily $350 worth of work there um, and I already had the washer which cost me 20 bucks the top washer and the thing cost me 60 so $80 instead of $350 $270 saved just because I want to get myself a little bit greasy. Something to be said for doing shit yourselves these days, eh? Anyway, have a good day. Bye.
It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth.